Hi everybody, welcome back to Sid's Modern Life, Season 3, Episode 24, with me, Sid, and last episode... Last episode we did some stuff, um, and this episode we're going to do some more stuff. So last episode, we, we got this lot going, uh, and I've now got all of these guys up to Master Level. Um... I've given them access to talk to each other because apparently zombie villagers who've been cured will talk to other zombie villagers and bring the price down still further. So that's good. Um, this guy, this guy, both of them not perfect because they've only got the melon trade and I would have preferred them to have melon and pumpkins because that seems to be the big money maker, hence why you've got multiple drawers of those and less of the other bits and pieces here's a slug the night watchman the brutalizer he is a bad bad man um so what i've done since then is i have come across this side and i have prepared a similar chamber to that side the only difference is the middle is decorative rather than um practical I've also done an absolute match metric crap done of training with these guys and, and that normally just involves coming in and grabbing a couple of stacks mainly of these um, because a quick run around with these um, will will generate me a a good stack and a half of a uh, stack and a half maybe even two stacks I'm not sure off the top of my head uh, of 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 emeralds and that's not to be sneezed at. Plus, it gives me an absolute crap ton of um, of experience. So yeah, winners all round. Nearly two stacks just from that little turnaround. And sometimes, depending on the t oops, the time of day, these guys will reset. Now, I haven't been bothering too much with the potatoes and stuff, although we probably should. Um, just because, well, we can, you know. Yeah, it's not like we can't come around here and trade an actual cra uh, loaded spuds. They're a little bit more of a pain. Now, I could probably improve that considerably by converting them again, but... You know, not a huge amount of point, I feel. He doesn't do spuds. He doesn't do spuds. He doesn't do spuds. He does spuds. So, yeah, this is just kind of the little routine. Um, and probably not the um, best laid out farm for mass village trading as well. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm here to generate these for a very specific reason and that is to get marble so oh he doesn't trade them either oh interesting have i only got one villager two villagers that trade oh you trade them okay thought you didn't there we go um but you know it's a living isn't it um, and obviously at that point you can then come in and grab a bunch of this and obviously deal with this guy um, yeah oh that's, that's that I think he's done he doesn't take it uh, he's not wheat he is wheat so we'll, have, we'll just use up the last of this here and obviously we could keep on going with the carrots and everything else uh, and then you know it's just a matter of pop them in there and we're done <sighs> okay i'm sure you've seen villager trading before <laughs> granny cooking eggs and all so what else have i been up to well i've uh, i put a door on here um the move the button up there to control that uh which i think is empty it is in the door in here, however, um, I put a barrel with a thing going into another crusher, which feeds into this one. This is I can just offload. And whenever I come back with a pile of ores, I can just offload the whole lot. Forget about them. Once they're ready, they go in. Um, not much else going on over there. 
Uh, I've done a little bit of thing. I've got lead. I, I found a mega lead zone, uh, a mega lead ore, uh, my seam, and uh, also for coal. I have this uh, mod in here which gives you periodically gives you massive um, veins of material, and I started been using the button to track down what we can get and what we can hide away into different storage containers and you know free up oh I also make it made a second 60 key storage anything else oh I made a gold gold flower over there um, I don't know if you can see it no because it's, it's only a baby at the moment it's not quite grown up uh, and that's been going for a while I've done quite a bit of AFKing uh, I was running low on gold so I figured while I've got gold I should you know make that um, and up there, once I've placed, because I'm not going to bother replacing that, because we're going to replace this roof this episode, is access into the next stage of going up the volcano. And we need to make lots of ruby uh, reinforced, sapphire reinforced glass, and uh, all of those good things. Anything else? Not really. The only other thing I have done, which we need to now go and capitalize on, is I've, uh, I've done an AFK sesh with the testificates and uh, I'm going to go and get like maybe a dozen or so of them hey I probably need some more hoofers as well let's just take the quick way down so I will see you over the villager breeder all right and we are off um, and of course the first thing to do is start getting these guys turned into stonemasons uh, let me just get a stack of those we'll just buy one stack of bricks from him and then we'll try and convert him he's probably gonna obsess on me if I've done that killed him you, sir, are brutal. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Oops, uh, he's not got a trade yet. Right. Some more bricks. And continue. And don't forget, I need six of these guys, so please don't be quite too brutal this time, slug. All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, we have got six zombie mason villagers. I've not converted them yet, I thought I'd do them all at the same time, that way they all finish at the same time. And we only use 13 villagers to do it. So I did wonder whether there was a a um, correlation between the level of the villager and things. So I, but they still die even if you level them right up to the next point. So this is that's, uh, just an interesting one. However, we've got um, a bunch of those. One to three of those so that should be enough I should be able to get these all with with like oh uh, no I don't think I got that one pub oh, bomb all right let's try again uh, go and grab another potion I'm not gonna have enough am I uh, two down so yeah Note to self, never throw splash potions. I love that effect. It is it's just such an amazing feature. Um, this guy, just before he changes, look at him. He's got 45 health. He's wearing enchanted gold armor. Uh, he's also picked up one of my monster balls, but, you know... Not much I can do about that. Now we just have to wait until they uh, change out. So, um, yeah, I don't think I've got... Have I got anything to... Uh, I need a book for a lectern, don't I? I was just wondering whether to actually try and get some... Uh, some librarian villages while I was waiting, but... Let's not push my... Oh, I don't want to go up. I don't want to... I don't think any of these guys... He's actually not holding, holding anything. I don't think he is either. Or he is, but those three are, so they'd be alright, they definitely wouldn't despawn. Oh, 
Oh, I just noticed he's a he's a tough guy as well. All right, well, well. yeah, back in a moment. All right, they've converted. All we've got to do now is level the buggers up. Um, let's grab a few emeralds. I've got some other trade materials in the old uh, box here. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is this is money for nothing. This. And yeah, and of course the discounted. Now, presumably I could get those lower. Um, I just can't see the point. Now, where are you up to now? Uh, polished andesite. Okay, well, uh, we'll open that one up. Uh, that one, if you don't mind. In fact, we'll just take a few of those. That should level you up again. To expert, that'll give me grey terracotta, which is all right. Or okay, that's fine. We'll grab a bunch of that, and that should give me master, which gives me block of quartz. One down, five to go. See you in a mo. All right, I was, I was working on the marble. Honest, I was. Um, Lectin. But uh, I, I got this distracted uh, just just a smidge. I don't actually need to do those, do I? Let me just go and get a couple more of those. Um, yeah. <coughs> so I was using the remaining villagers to um, to try and get some reasonable things. So that's obviously a good. Well, that one, that's a good square. It's got somewhere in there. There was a depth strider. Uh, most of these, I don't even know what magical power does, so, well, that's one to investigate. Um, but, so, I've had to block these off, because this guy is tracking to everything except his own, oh, hello, wow, look at this guy, power five, channeling five, sharpness five. That is obscene. Okay, uh, my temptation is to get one of those while we've got him and a channeling book because I haven't got a thing yet but and we might as well oh, uh, I'm going to need more more emeralds but we might as well get the sharpness book while we're at it because it'd be wrong not to wouldn't it um Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes a certain degree of sense to me. Am I? <laughs> but this guy is silly. He's a journeyman, so let's get him some more. Well, we can actually do that again, because he's... Oh, no, we can't. He's not reset that on that one. Lantern trades on these guys is brilliant as well. Um, let me go and grab some more paper. So I'm going to kind of breed this guy up. I don't want to... I'm really, really... The reason I've done these three trades with him is I'm nervous that when uh, I let Slug on him, um, he may not make it. And that would be sad. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Perfect. That shall give us enough for another three... Uh, another six stacks... Oops. Hang on. Another six stacks of paper, which we shall quickly throw through here. And do the same again. And yeah, so I'm going to have to put one of these guys into his uh, slot. But this guy, power, channeling, and sharpness all in one villager. That is crazy. Oh, this is going to take a, a metric crap ton of uh, paper, isn't it? Hmm. Anyway, let me work on this guy as well. I'll uh, always finished on that. I'm gonna have to wait till he resets, I think. Okay, fair enough. Um, but he's set. Um, I am very, very tempted to throw him. So come on, Slug, do your thing. This is probably going to be a bad idea, but. See. 
that's why I did that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to... I'll play with these properly later. Um, that was so annoying. It's almost like you want to have like a way of... I don't know why he's so vicious. Um, but there you go. Doesn't matter. We haven't lost anything that we didn't already have. Um, hmm. That's a good point. We do need to sort of... Oh, that can go in there. Yeah. So let me just sort myself out of it and I'll be back with you in a moment. All right. I'm, uh, I'm kind of done trading. Um, a few villagers have, have perished in the process of trying to get the... Um, the good, the good stuff. We do need to get an unloading station for this as well at some point because this is getting messy. However, we have got a whole load of quartz, and I also realised that I can buy this stuff, the quartz pillars, which, um, in its own right, there's not much I can do with it. Um, I can make it into quartz slabs, or I can just make it into quartz stairs, but neither of those are what I want. What I want is smooth quartz, but you can crush it and get your quartz back which means the smooth quartz <laughs> now not a problem so so that's a biggie now what i also did is i um i did a few villages so we got looting uh, well this has already got luck but if we throw looting onto that and uh, sharpness uh, now, I need to check this one. This is Nature's Mending. This is Nature's Orin, and I can't remember how it works, but if we make a Nature's Aura book, it's going to tell us about some various bits. We need to know about the book, okay. Magical Botany, okay. And Concept of Aura, okay. Um, and then there's, there's some thick stuff about trees and some stuff about those and we need to unlock all of that now what i want to do is get to the enchantments but you are not going to tell me are you you're going to hold it you swine what i want to know is what it does <laughs> google didn't help me at all so we are going to have to proceed through nature's aura and this is kind of a thing i want to do anyway so um, substance but one is required to be a brilliant tree that will then harvest a shed gold leaf so you need to make some of this and that makes some of that which is useful for some of that well we can do all of that not today however so we'll we'll forget the nature's um nature's mending but if i recall correctly it does mending using the aura in the environment or or restored on you i can't remember which way around it is exactly um but it doesn't matter. We can uh, let this process through. Uh, and in the meantime, that lot can all start cooking. And it uh, doesn't take long for that to come through a smooth quartz. Then we can go up and we can replace the ceiling on that top floor. And then we can move on to the next level, which is um, one or two levels. I think I'm going to put two more levels in here. Um, I haven't decided exactly how they're going to look yet, but one of them is going to be the living quarters where we actually live and we'll move some bits and pieces around, maybe move our AFK safe room somewhere, I don't know. There's a lot of things I want to do and uh, the problem is sometimes when you've got far too many, uh, this, is a, this is a problem I think a lot of people suffer from, is when you have too many options you oh wow well, that did not go the way i thought it would um it can become actually confusing so down here we need to do a whole load of decorative work um and i i'm still i'm still trying to figure out the best way to do it i've also been thinking that maybe what we need down here is a over maybe out of one of these um volcano arms is like um a boat dock so we can come out and zoom out in the boat i'm not sure how long i'm going to need that for though because eventually ultimately i want to get kind of flight so you know that's a thing <laughs> but anyway let me get my uh, materials together and uh, i will be right back with you
All right, uh, most of the stuff is cooked. Um, however, we are going to head over to this anvil and we are going to apply looting three to this. Now that will be, well, potentially quite things and sharpness five. Now, uh, currently it is at 14.96, takes it to 17.96 damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we've also got some mending and stuff on it. Now, in here, we need to strip out all of this stuff. This needs to go big time. Oh, we also. Actually, it's not a problem because. Um, yeah, not a problem. So, we can, uh, we can take all of this out. And obviously. We're going with the quartz because that theme will continue through. I think all of these need to realistically come out as well. I think I actually, you know what, I should go and get my boxo tricks and uh, I should empty my boxo tricks first, shouldn't I? Okay, yeah. Let me just sort this mess out. I'll be back in a second. Alright, well that has replaced the roof with this um, smooth quartz. Uh, it used almost all of the quartz I made. I do need to just pop up here and just um, fix a few lighting issues around the place. That should do us. So this space up, oh hang on, right there. This space up here, um, I want to, I want to try and do two floors now. What I do need to do is if I can just get myself a, somewhere to stand up there for starters uh, and get my glove going. So around here, We have a well, a slight issue. We've got for starters up there. That's where the um, the roof of the overall thing is. So you know we do need to kind of work this up higher and and kind of clear out more of this space. I want to take this all the way back to. Uh, to the edges. Now I'm hoping that this will actually work. I don't know, we'll find out. I'm just going to kind of work my way through. We should see immediately, I think. And this is, unfortunately, this is terrible um, environment for recording because it is so dark. Uh, but I think Certainly to there, we're okay, you know, taking out all of that bit. And what we can do is just work this out until we've got, yeah, that to there. Now then we need to go up at least Two, and just see how we can shape this this chamber because I want to get two rooms in here but what I want to do is I want to divert the lava flow around the edges and then bring it back in so we've got central space for those two oh god uh, let me just turn that off um, so we've got two bits uh, two yeah that's a technical term isn't it two bits uh, let me just do that. Two areas where we can put those altars um, because they really do work better in a um, in an environment where right this uh, low. No, we can't. Right, we can't come this far back. Damn it. Well, certainly not of there anyway. 
So we, this looks to be the highest point of this room or chamber. Let me uh, continue working this out and I shall get back to you in a second. Okay. Um, kind of <laughs> weird this one. I've, I've set myself on fire. I've, uh, I've taken out all of the lava column down the center there. Right up there, that bit there, that's where the lava stops. Uh, I should probably replace that with some glass or something. Just so I know where it is. Um, <coughs> but kind of that brings me to the second problem at hand, and that is glass. Reinforced sapphire glass specifically. Now this stuff is relatively expensive to make. We need to use obsidian in an alloy furnace um, with sapphire glass, and sapphire glass is made with glass and sapphires. Makes four, that's not too bad. So I can go, um, in fact, I believe, mm, I left it upstairs, didn't I? Let me grab some coal. Let me grab some glass. Uh, one, maybe two. Maybe three now. Let's have a look how many sapphires I have. Sapphires. Um, I believe it's we've got those as well, haven't we? But uh, let's just go with that one for now. So we've got a fair amount of sapphire. Not a huge, but you know, reasonable. And uh, if we come in here, we have an alloy furnace which we can pop down temporarily. And if we pop that in there with those, now let me just have a double check, the alloy furnace, one to four. So it actually only needs 16, doesn't it? One, two, three. And that goes in, and obviously we'll cook up that. Now this stuff here, the recipe for that is we need five for every one. So basically I'm going to need five stacks of obsidian for every... Hmm. <laughs> um, I know I've got a male obsidian plan of essence, so and we've got a we've got a goodly amount of that, which means that yeah. So if I can, I can make a stack of obsidian quite easily, two, three, four. Um, yeah, I should turn that off temporarily as well. Uh, oh, I love the blue power stuff. That that visual of that stuff going on there is just very nice indeed. So that should make me four stacks of obsidian. That's actually not bad, and we've still got loads more. So we should be able to make the obsidian glass now. While I am thinking about it, this needs to move. I can't have that there um, because. My plan is to basically run the lava in a, we're going to have a, a glass channel that comes along here. It's going to come all the way to here and then the lava is going to run up the wall and it's kind of, kind of going to move in step by step, if you like, as we go that way. So that's the plan and the reason I need the opposite one, the obsidian glass is because A, I want it to look the same and B, I need to have it as a tube of glass because a wooden floor is going to catch fire if I'm not careful. Um, I think everything else should be okay if I encase it completely in glass. We will find out. <laughs> There's only one way to find these things out and that is to have a go. So yeah, that's um, we should be fine. Three stacks. We've got, we'll get three stacks of sapphire glass from this and, and if we need more sapphires we're going to have to go caving. It's very simple as um, Alright, I'm just going to let this finish up and see where we get, and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Alright, um, <laughs> my design's got a little bit out of hand. You know, if you've ever built kind of ad hoc and just, you know, without giving it. Oh, hello. Did I miss an entire area for spawning? It certainly looks like I did. Luckily, I have a few spare panels, so that solves that one. Um, so yeah, I wanted to bring these out, but my volcano isn't wide enough. So I decided that, well, what I'd do is fall and hurt myself really badly. Um, no, 
And so I decided what to do was to bring a pipe out on the outside. Um, you know, it kind of adds to the thing. So we've got this area here. This is now all clear. Um, we are going to do some more with this. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with a lot of these spaces, but having spaces is handy because you've got spaces to work with now. This now means that we've got this lava pipe coming over here which is going to come back to the middle and go probably up i'll probably move the chaos altar thing somewhere else this one can stay here um we'll get a little bit more foliage and stuff in this thing we obviously need to do the ceiling as well that's a biggie but uh, um what is taking this stuff is taking forever it is seriously a pain in the bum um and I'm not entirely sure whether to continue up into this space we've made above or whether just to fill it up and have done with. Because we don't really need that space up there. Um, I mean, I said we could make living quarters, but, you know, if I come in here and actually start, were to start building corridors off of this and, and putting rooms on this level, then, you know, you could have a bedroom level up here quite easily. We could also... If I really want, I don't really want to do it, but <laughs> um, we could certainly put, you know, um, an elevator down that takes us down two levels here. Because this is, how do I put it? This is organic. <laughs> There's an element of organicness to this, which um, is taking more time than... I would have previously thought, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's kind of it's interesting getting these different spaces. And I say this needs more, than these, but I do need to get a roof in here first. But for the time being, let's just um, let's try and get a screenshot because I'm fairly certain I'm close to finish. I also want to change that. I change that out with a a glass button. In fact, I may let's just go and have a look at that now. Something like that, perhaps, might look nicer. Um, just because, you know, there you go, nice little hidden button there, and obviously, boom. And hopefully that will work up for that, I don't know. I don't even know whether this is going to work on the glass, but, you know. I'm probably going to try and get this quartz done between episodes because you know, quartz grinding is tedious. Also, a little bit more of this so we can take this up on the outside as well um, before we bring it back in. But yeah, uh, quite like this magic wood we've got. That's uh, So the theme on this floor is blue. And we need to do something with that. We definitely need to get into Nature's Aura, though, next episode, I think. So maybe that's where we'll start playing next episode. Maybe start a new area. I don't know. I don't want to go too far, so I'm very... But I also don't want to be too close. Yeah. Difficult, difficult. Um, yeah, anyway, I think until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a little bit bitty bobby this episode, but sometimes you have those, uh, and sometimes you don't. You know, it's just the, the way, the nature of the beast, if you like. Um, but maybe just, maybe we just go and work out onto the hillside here. I don't know. Yeah, let me think what you see. Let me see what you guys think. Um, in the meantime, till next time, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Bye for now.